Hi friend, today we will we look into the statistics for one of my side project applications. I am trying to make some App Store optimization for this application. I will share my statistics, my, what I already did and my future plans to make this application at least a little bit more profitable. Currently it's quite small app and but yeah, that is something to play around and I will share my current statistics and my future plans with you. So let's start. <laughs> If you already released any app in the App Store or just planning to release, probably you know that Golden Rush on the App Store is already ended. There are so much apps on the App Store and we have to compete to get users' attention. One of my indie developers' friends recommended to increase keywords for the application basically by adding localizations to the app. Basically, by default, you are posting your application in your local App Store. Usually, everyone is posting in uh, US App Store and you have to provide your app description, name and so on in English. But you can add a few more languages and here is post how to double your size of keywords in the App Store. I will put link in the description. You can open it later and read it. There is straightforward instruction how to do that. You can try to do that for your application as well. Basically, you have to create new app version because you can't add new localizations to already existing application. You will need to release app, but you can do no changes in this application. Just add one version and uh, upload the same <laughs> app version to the App Store for release. And you just add all the languages that you like to see. I did this experiment uh, almost months ago. Uh, when I planned to do that, I opened my app statistics and I took a look on them in... Let me show you what I saw. I opened this uh, in the beginning of January and what I saw is all the searches and downloads are coming from the search. Yeah, that's clear. Most of sales are coming from US, Australia, United Kingdom, France, Germany. I could add local name and local uh, versions for each of those countries. Of course, Australia, United Kingdom, United States, all of those are English speaking countries. I just added some additional keywords. And for France and for Germany, I added localized application name. Also, I added localized application name for Russia as well because I know that free diving and spear fishing is kind of popular in Russia as well. I, I was hoping to, to get some sales from here as well. Okay, and let's take a look on results. We are four weeks later now. Let's take a look on last seven days. I have screenshot here. If we will compare results, impressions, numbers are <laughs> almost the same. Product page views, I see increase here. That is good because uh, search uh, impressions, that means someone saw this application in the App Store feed, in search feed or just feed. And uh, product page view, that means uh, this user clicked on this product page and opened this application. And conversation rate, that means uh, application downloads. Basically, conversation rate is the same and that is not changed. And that is normal because uh, screenshots are the same, application description is the same, those are values what cooled, which could impact uh, those uh, conversation rates, but I did nothing for that. And uh, sales, basically, I have, yeah, I have significant increase in sales, but that is not because of App Store optimization. There are different things that could impact that. So basically what I see here, impressions didn't change it for my application at all. That would make impression that there is no reason to do this uh, optimization at all for my application. And probably that is true. I did some more research. Let's open one, one more site. App Radar. Uh, this is not advertisement, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's take a look on App Radar, in App Radar on my application. Basically, that is how my application looks in the App Store. Description, screenshots, rating and so on. Let's take a look on keywords. I'm tracking few keywords and few keywords uh, in tracking are added here by 
the upper radar by themselves. So, one to five K words, those are K words what I am tracking. And apnea free diving, brace hold, brace holding, free dive, those are K words which, in my opinion, are important for this application because application is about free diving uh, and apnea and so on. And I already am in first places uh, for search for those keywords. Basically, for me it looks so that yes, I added few more keywords, but most important keywords was already on place for this application and therefore search results already was quite good for this application. I think that this is the reason why I do not see big differences in search results. So basically I still have my 10,000 impressions about that and uh, probably that is already good result for this application because that is very very narrow niche this is very very small interest group this free diving community is very small and 10,000 searches and 700 installations in the week actually that's huge in my opinion for that app so that's 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 very big kind of final thoughts on this I think that this is good uh, opportunity to improve search results for your application if you like to double your keywords, add more and more keywords to, to your application. I think that it is worth to do that, to add those localizations to your application and take a look how this will, how this will work for your application. Also application name, localization, it depends of course. If your application is named, I don't know, Instagram <laughs> or YouTube. You don't need uh, localization, but if it is something specific like uh, free diving, uh, then maybe local name will help to, to improve searchability. So think about that for your application, that's my suggestion. And um, I will show you one more. Here we can see Firebase uh, statistics for the same application. Basically, if we will take a look on 28 days, here we see active users, uh, growing is quite nice actually and again if you have good search results and new users are coming uh, all the time to your application, that uh, those numbers can become big quite fast. And let's switch to 28 days on the map, so if we are looking here on the application or markets uh, Australia grow by 14 percent after those changes not bad united kingdom i don't know guys what's happening here <laughs> six percent down localization didn't help it at all germany two percent up so about the same russia 50 percent up but those 50 percent are only 45 users <laughs> from so big market. Uh, I don't know, localization didn't help it a lot. Uh, ребята, в чем дело? <laughs> Guys, what's happening here? And yeah, Australia is quite big and uh, United States of America are quite big in free diving, obviously. So yeah, that's, that's how my statistics look like. What I see, what I could improve. Next steps for improvements are... Let's go back to this report. Basically, looks like that impressions are okay for this application. Seems so that it is already a good number. Page views from impressions, I don't know. It's good or not, I don't know. But conversation rate, 10% is not good at all. Because I, I, I did some uh, small research and I saw numbers that about 30% uh, for conversation rate is good. So basically I have plenty of space for improvements here. If a uh, user opened a product page, I would like to see much, much bigger number here on conversations rate. Obliviously, user was interested in this application, user opened this application uh, product page but description was not good enough or screenshots was not good enough basically that's 
my fault I didn't convince uh, this user to uh, download this application. Even application is free anyways. User opened a uh, product page but didn't download it. Uh, looks like uh, application description should be updated. Screenshots, I don't know, maybe I, sh I should try to add video with demo, how application works, something like that. Basically, there is plenty of place for improvement. And uh, if I will have better downloads, I have to look on how to update sales as well. Because sales numbers are, are already, let's say, interesting. $60 per week, again, that is <laughs> not the money if you're comparing with expenses for app development, but this is already something from what you can start to work on. And uh, I am I'm showing ads in this application. Basically, I have some revenue from ads as well. Next steps, what I am planning to do, that is work on uh, to update, uh, work on conversation rate upgrade, and after that work on sales number growing. If this was your first time on this channel, I am a freelance iOS developer, but also I am building my own applications and I will try to share my own application development behind the scenes video more often. If you are interested in such kind of topics, just uh, subscribe, there is a subscribe button below, <laughs> that is for free. Do that and uh, yeah, and there are a few more videos on this topic, uh, app revenue report, uh, how I become freelancer and so on. Those videos may, could be interesting for you. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one.